Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video will consist of my everyday makeup routine and what products I've been using lately and what's been working best for my skin as of um, 2017. <clears throat> so yeah guys, so if you want to see how I do my everyday makeup, just keep watching. Here I'll just be showing you the primer that um, I use to prime my face, which is the NYX Angelville Skin Perfecting Primer. And I just like to put that in my T-zone area because lately I've been dry. Next, I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in the shade 173. And I like to mix it with my Stella Aqua Glow Foundation in the shade Medium 10. And I like to put it on the back of my hand and mix it with my LA Girl Pro Concealer to get the perfect shade for me because the Medium 10 is a little too dark for me. And also, um, I go in with a foundation brush and apply it in my highlight areas. And I just like to blend that all together with the foundation brush to just give me um, my true match to my neck and everything. And then I've noticed that when I do this process, it just leaves my foundation looking more natural. And since my skin has been very dry lately, um, I've been having lat like my products are latching onto my under eye areas. So that's why I've been using the Aqua Glow foundation because it gives me more of a dewy finish. So yes, I just keep blending and blending before I go in with uh, my flat top foundation brush, and which you'll see me go in with now. And I do this because it just gives me more of a natural finish and it blends it all into the skin very well. I used to use a beauty blender, but every time I use a brush, I just notice it blends in more seamlessly and I don't have any sort of lines uh, or separations of the two foundations. They just blend in very well. So here, you just see me keep blending and blending. Now I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and um, I'll be contouring my face with the two darker shades, Cinnamon and Chocolate. And I like to apply cinnamon first because when I attended the Anastasia event, she said to first, it's like an ombre effect. You put the darker and go lighter and lighter and it just blends very well. It gives me a great um, contour shade. And I apply it on my forehead, on the bridge of my nose. Well, not the bridge of my nose, <laughs> but on my nose. Um, and then I'll just put it also um, on my eyelids a little bit. Just so when I blend it all out, it gives me like a pretty color, like sort of an eyeshadow tint. Next, I'll be highlighting my area with the shade Cream and Banana from that same contour cream kit. And I like to blend the two because it just gives me a more um, natural color, to, not too white or not too yellow. So I just um, apply that in my highlight areas, um, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and um, the tip of my chin and here's my brother walking in and out of my room talking to me he doesn't just know if he wants to come in or come out and he's showing me the weather because we, he can't believe it's 44 degrees outside in houston because we don't ever get no sort of cold weather and he said by the end of the night it will be down to 80 degrees and we all understand that next i'm going in with my um, Urban Decay setting spray and I like to spray that before I blend out my contour because it just makes it blend out very well and sometimes cream can be a little drying so I just like to spray it before I blend out and I just keep blending that out first and I like to blend out the um, contour first bef before the highlight because it just gives it a more natural finish when I blend out the highlight over the contour and yes I just keep blending and blending because blending is key and then also on my nose and i'm not so neat on this area because you clean it all up well i personally clean it all up once i blend it out with my beauty blender over the um i go over a little bit of the contour areas with it and it just gives a more natural finish and yep just keep blending and blending And I just apply more of that um, 
cream and that banana shade because for some reason my eyes always it just doesn't grab onto any sort of concealer real good so I just always have to apply that and I like to grab my foundation brush and blend it all out because um, I don't want no separations of the two colors the contour and the highlight and here I am again just be blending it all out with my beauty blender so just keep blending and blending Now I'm grabbing my airspun in the shade Translucent and I'm just going to set my um, highlight areas. I like to, I guess you could say I bake for like literally maybe two seconds and then I start actually pressing it into the skin. And then I also um, highlight where on my cheeks to bring out that contour. And you'll see me go back on my under eyes and then just press in that powder a little better. And I'm just brushing that off with my Real Techniques um, brush. Don't know what brush is that, but I'll link it down below. Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia um, blush trio in the shades Peachy Love, and I'll be using Ginger and Miami. And I've noticed it just gives me sort of like my favorite um, drugstore blush is the Luminoso, and I feel like when I blend the two, it gives me that perfect shade that's near Luminoso. Next, I'm going in with my powder brush and just um, brushing off that translucent powder. Next is my Lorac um, Highlight and Contour Palette, and I'm going in with the shades, the two darker shades, which is um, Deep Contour and Medium Contour, and then I'll just be contouring my face with those two shades and bronzing my face also. There goes my Gma telling me to go eat. But yes, I just keep applying that and bronzing up my face. And guys, I'm using Natural Lighting. And it's very gloomy in Houston these, this past week. So yeah, just bear with me with the lighting. Next, I'm just putting in the little Vaseline that I have on my lips because they were getting a little dry. So to moisturize my lips a bit. And you see me just trying to see what eyeshadow palette I use. And I grab the 35B Morphe palette and I go in with those two peachy shades. And then I'll just be applying them in my crease area. I'm blending it out very messy, like there's nothing to this. I just don't like it too perfect because it's just an everyday makeup look and I was in a rush. I should I was supposed to be ready by 3 and I started recording at 2 20, 2 30. So uh, yeah, I was just rushing. It's nothing perfect, just a messy look. It all comes together at the end. So yes, I just blend that out with my Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. And again, I'm going in with my Ultra H Ultra HD, my Urban Decay um, setting spray. And I like to put that before I apply my um, highlight because it just makes it pop. And I'm going in with Urban Decay Afterglow highlight palette. Isn't it so beautiful? And I tried giving it a swatch, but it just wasn't going to work. So yeah, now I'm going in with my um, IT Cosmetics Fan Brush, and I'll be applying those two shades, which is um, No Angel and Cliché, onto my highlight bone, my highlight bones, my cheekbone area, and in the highest points of my face, I guess I want to say. I'm not sure how you say that. But yeah, I love these highlights because it gives me like a natural within highlight. Like it's not too, oof, like you can tell it where it's actual powdered highlight. It just looks naturally like within the skin. And then now I'm just highlighting my inner corners. Next, I'm getting my clear brow gel. I don't shade in my eyebrows. I just clean them up with concealer. Here's Natalie coming in with my chips. I was upset because they didn't have any baked hot Cheetos. 
So yeah, I'm just putting that clear brow gel on my eyebrows to tame them a bit because I have very thick hairs and I don't shave them in. So I just like for them to look clean and precise. So yeah, here I go, just showing y'all so far. Next, I'm just highlighting my um, bra bone area. Just applying more highlight. Next, I'm grabbing my Too Faced, um, which one is I have it right here, Better Than Sex Mascara. It came in my, um, my boss lady agenda kit that my um, cousin gave me for my birthday. And I'm just gonna apply that mascara a good layer on to my eyelashes. So just keep applying it and applying it until you get your desired eyelash length. And then I go in and I grab my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara because um, I just feel like the Better Than Sex Mascara wasn't really doing much um, to the length of my eyelashes. And this is one of my favorite um, drugstore um, mascaras and it just never fails. Now I'm just applying some mascara on my lower lash um, line. And I don't like to put too much because throughout the day my eyes get watery. Next for my lips, I'll be going in with this Tristique um, lip pencil, and I got it in my Ipsy bag, so I'm not really sure what shade it is. I'm, I don't have it in front of me right now, but I'll link it down below. It's just a really pretty hot pink. It's very, I like it. I was so scared to use pinks because I have a very dark complexion, but once I actually tried it out, it actually looked very nice. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying that color, and here's the little stick I was talking about. If you guys don't have an Ipsy, you should definitely um, check them out and see. They send very good products for you to try before you actually buy the big ones. And yeah, so now I'm finished my look. And um, you'll just see me go back and bronze up a bit because the lighting in the room is very terrible. I promise y'all my foundation fits my skin very well. It's just the lighting is very bad because I'm using natural lighting and my room lighting doesn't make it any better. But yeah, this is the completed look and I'm just going to bronze up again a bit. And that's the completed look. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed.